Welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. I'm Shelley Till. With me is General Bob Felderman from the Julian Dubuque International Film Festival. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for being here. I'm glad to be here. Tell us about your position with the film festival and why did you choose to get involved? Well, I'm the uh, treasurer for the Julian Dubuque International Film Festival, and uh, we short it, we call it the film festival a lot of times. Um, but um, that's just recently, as I, I came on the board as a board of directors and then uh, rolled into the position as somebody left. And so I, I've been a treasurer on several other different nonprofits before. So the film festival is a nonprofit, so it allows me to have some previous knowledge to be able to do that. But more than any, more than that, um, it was because of my involvement with the film festival. I was one of the original sponsors, um, uh, jumped in and uh, uh, sponsored the event, and then also sponsored a um, one of the film makers. Um, fortunately for me, it happened to be my son-in-law, who uh, came and attended the film and actually had. Uh, the only animation in the film, and he uh, worked uh, music for it. Um, so it was able to bring a little family involvement. I was the uh, red carpet greeter <clears throat> at the uh, kickoff award ceremony on the first night of the festival, where we had Kate Mulgrew and gave her an award and several other of the coveted awards that are that are made uh, with uh, the feather. And so um, was part of it from the beginning with uh, a little bit with the contributions, a little bit with um, um, pushing folks to support um, trying to uh, sell tickets for, for folks to fill the seats that we had, and then working with different um, uh, businesses uh, that wanted to uh, contribute. So the uh, big finish, though, was the award ceremony, um, and then rolling into some of the different uh, events. I was very fortunate. Uh, Kate Mulgrew's film with uh, Peter Rieger, um was uh, about uh, the Guantanamo Bay legal proceedings, and in my military career, I had some expertise of uh, determining whether we were going to bring Guantanamo Bay to the Midwest, actually, to a prison here. So they had me as a panelist. So I also ended up being a panelist during the uh, event. And that was uh, quite an honor. And it was a pretty neat deal. Very good. And you mentioned sponsors and support and um, various ways to get involved. Tell our viewers, if they're interested in, in getting involved in the festival, where do they go? Certainly. <clears throat> we have a, a web page. It's uh, www.julianfilmfest.com. Uh, Dot com and uh, at, on the web page there are links it talks about the submissions that, that people would do it talks uh, about the different categories that we have um, from documentaries features animations it has uh, opportunities for folks there and also on Facebook page that they can go and uh, and, and link into a point of contact um, uh, uh, Michael Cody or Christopher Kulovitz to, uh, to go ahead and, and uh, sign up, to either work the launch party, to work the uh, um, primary film festival, to uh, um, be a meet and greeter, to uh, shuttle people around, to kind of work through that, to help be a host and to help show off our city as we go through and, and work that. Um, last year's event um, took two um, very um, experienced and uh, um, enthusiastic gentlemen, I said Michael and Christopher, that put it together, but they couldn't do it with a huge amount of support from folks that, that uh, um, helped uh, display our town to help show it off and to have folks come and, and, uh, and meet. So if they go to that webpage, um, uh, Julian Film Fest, uh, or on the Facebook page, they'd be able to keep up with it. Now we also have the Telegraph Herald to sponsor uh, Julian Dubuque Film Festival, uh, excuse me, the Dubuque Inter um, 365 and the Julian's Journal, that they can follow and keep track of where those places are on those web pages as well. And where do you predict that the festival is going to go from here? Well, we're really fortunate that we had uh, filled over 3,000 seats, and uh, um, it was more than anybody expected. We had over 100 filmmakers. We had over 70 films. And my prediction, um, I don't think anyone else is making this, my prediction is that, that by 2020, that we'll be filling at least 20,000 seats. Um, that's not the level of Sundance, but for the, uh, uh, the time that we have committed, for the uh, location that we are, um, for the opportunities that we have, that's going to be a, a really successful milestone for us to meet. So we're looking forward to that. Well, great, and it sounds like you're on track. We are, and uh, with the the, di the dynamics that go on with City of Dubuque, everything that's here for our support, um, it's going to be a, a, a very successful film festival, April 4th through 7th of 2013. All right, thank you. My guest has been General Bob from the Dubuque International Film Festival. Please join us again the next time where we bring you the full story from the most reliable sources exclusively on Mediacom Newsleaders.